Okay, this has absolutely nothing to do with nothing, but um, I'm over here just looking through things, okay? And if you guys are like me, you probably been on quite a few diets in the past. Like for instance, I've done everything under the sun. I mean everything from slim fast, cabbage diet, watermelon diet, what's that, the grapefruit diet, and I'm actually about to start the apple vinegar diet. I've also taken a bunch of pills like Dexatrim, Adipex. My favorite was Accutrim. And I can't find Accutrim anymore. I find things that say they have the actual ingredient. But I remember way back in the day, Accutrim was like a little pink pill. It kind of looked like a birth control pill. But it was very, very small and pink. And when I think about it, I didn't even need to be on a diet back in the day when I was like 17 and 18. But, you know, we were because of, I guess, like the media, right? I'm going to blame it on the media because I was actually happy. And I will admit, I have put on some quarantine pounds. They were delicious pounds, by the way. But it's like two hours and summer's about to begin. So I need to um, get back on that track. And I just need to follow something that's a little bit more... I'm going to say more natural, and that's why I'm going to look into this um, apple vinegar diet. I don't know. I don't know. D have you guys done anything like that? I mean, I have everything. I was going to start Monday because um, this weekend, they say you have to be close to a bathroom, and I, I'm helping my kid move, so um, I <laughs> won't be near a bathroom too much, so I want. I need to be near a bathroom. That's what it says, so... I'm going to start Monday because this weekend I'll be like out of my house. So anyway, this was a story like years ago and my girlfriend, she knew that I was like a guinea pig when it came to um, diet products. I always wanted them. I would try anything. I, I know I was dumbass, but I would do that. And I remember she told me about it and it popped into my head. And I just want to know if you guys know anything about this story real quick. It happened in Las Vegas, Nevada. And it was on March 11th, 2012. So it was a little bit, it was a little while ago. Aston Lakin in 2012, because I looked him up and I believe he's like married now. So in 2012, he describes himself as the mother's significant other. He arrives to a home to a gruesome scene. He knew that the child was already dead, but he called 911. Danielle Yvonne Slaughter, she was 27 years old at the time. She had been hospitalized after she was found two miles away from her home. There was blood all over her, a good amount covering her hands. She was naked and she was screaming. When the police had asked her, where did the blood come from? She responded, Lamb of God. That's what she said. Inside her home or her boyfriend's home, the home they shared together, was the six-year-old daughter, Kayla Franks, only six years old, and she had been killed with scissors, stabbed 15 times by her mother in the master bedroom, and the scissors were st st um, lying right next to the little girl. Now, Slaughter had been taking hydroxy cut. Do you know all the diet pills I've taken? I had the hydroxy cut, the, the black kind. I think they call that the extreme in my hand. They have them in Walmart. But I, I put them back for some reason. Back to the story. She said she hadn't slept in days. And only one hour that day of the murder, she had slept. She said she had sensed an evil presence in her home. She said her daughter started to say wicked words and a wicked laugh. And that's when she had took the scissors and she stabbed her to death. She was arrested. Now, um, Slaughter was even asking afterwards, like, is my daughter really dead? Like, she didn't know what she did. It was kind of strange. Um, they found out later. 
that sort of had an undiagnosed mental illness. Now, in 2017, they were wondering, was it bipolar or was it schizophrenia? However, the hydroxy cut, the diet pills had exuberated her mental illness or exacerbated. You know what I'm saying? It did that. And it somehow heightened her mental illness. Now, they found this young woman at the time guilty of first-degree murder but mentally ill. The judge at the time, Elisa Kadish, she had said that Slaughter's actions were not willingful or deliberate or premeditated. Now, I was looking all over since last night. And I could not find what her actual sentence was. They said um, she has to do 21 years, the minimum, the minimum. And I don't know if she's in a regular jail facility or a mental. Oh, actually, they said she's in a Florence jail facility. Florence. I can't remember if it was Florence. North Carolina or is it up there in Nevada? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But she's in a woman's facility. I do know that. They didn't say anything about um, mental health. I'm pretty sure she's getting some type of health aid there. Or I hope she's getting some type of mental health aid there. Have you guys knew about this story? There also, I didn't even do any research on that because I'm actually working on a story for next week. But I just was like kind of peeping out certain things. They said a 19-year-old boy had died from taking the hydroxy cut. And they said uh, um, a guy, a rapper, he had um, overdosed on it and caffeine. I don't know. And he was in the hospital. That rapper guy with all the colored hair. I don't really know much about him. Um, But I saw a picture of him and they said 6'9". I think that's 69. Oh, Lord, 69? Well, I think 69. Yeah, or 69. I know he has colored hair. I do know that. And uh, he has a 6 and 9 on his face. I saw in the picture. But um, he had taken this drug and he was hospitalized. So I don't, I don't know. I think I'm going gonna, I'm I'm gonna to stay away from the actual pills because I have enough going on in my life, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to, I'm going to try the apple vinegar. And I did buy a little grape juice to try to make, I'm sorry, grapefruit juice to try to make it a little bit better. But um, it tastes a little bit better because I know it's going to probably be really gross. But anyways, I just wanted to bring that story to you guys right quick. And I feel so terrible that this little girl, Kyla, ended up passing away, you know. Whew, terrible, right? terrible okay well it is it is friday you guys have a great weekend and happy valentine's day and all that good stuff and i will definitely be back next week with some more stories all right thanks a lot